a smoky tomato pasta with a little bit of smoked bacon. So I use these vine ripened tomatoes. They are beautiful. You could use heirlooms, cherries, romas, whichever tomato looks ripest to you at the grocery store would be great. Does that mean I can't use canned tomatoes? Liv, don't sound nervous. <laughs> I always let you substitute. You can use canned tomatoes. The beauty of a canned tomato is it's already super sweet, but you're gonna wanna drain off the liquid before you smoke them. You could reserve that liquid, then add it to your pan. Go liberal with the salt. So I could do this on an oven indoors, right? You could do this on an oven indoor. You won't get the smokiness. But remember, we're doing this with bacon, so you will get some smokiness from the bacon. Cracked black pepper. And so then liberal douse of olive oil. It just kind of coats those. And then what I do is I take a baker's rack, like so. We place the baker's rack on our grill so we could just easily pull it off. And also what this lets the smoke and the heat come through and some of that moisture just drip down and put them flesh side down on our baker's rack. So that smoke really gets up in to that tomato. You can see I'm not over direct heat, the heat's in the back. So I'm gonna be at about 350 to 450 degrees. These are gonna go for seven to 10 minutes and we're just gonna get a really nice pop of smoke in there. Now, as the tomatoes are smoking, we're gonna start the rest of our sauce. We're gonna dice up the bacon. Remember, bacon is a meat that has already been cooked because it's been salted and smoked and cured. So what we're doing now is we're cooking it to make it crispy, but it's already been cooked, so we're not throwing raw meat down on a cutting board, so to speak. Could I use like another meat if I was in the mood for something else? Yes, sausage would be great. You could use some of the Italian cured meats like pancetta or guanciale, which are different versions of bacon, but they haven't been smoked. Those would also work very nicely in there. So now we have our onion. Just put a full dice on this guy. We left the roots on because we're gonna dice it. If we're gonna slice it, we take the roots off. Went about 90% back down the middle, like so. Then we spin it, flat end is towards us. Go 90% of the way through again. I love watching you cut onions. <laughs> so the flat side is away towards my right hand. And I go straight down and those are perfectly diced for our pasta. I'm gonna give my bacon a little stir. And that's just starting to crisp. And in this preparation, we're gonna go about mid crisp. This isn't like bacon with your breakfast. You want it to Render fat gets slightly crispy, but it doesn't have to be crunchy crispy because it's gonna break down in the sauce anyhow. Always use fresh garlic when you can. Remember, you could buy whole heads of garlic, store them in a cool, dark place, and they last for a long time. Garlic is ready to go. For the herbs, I went back to the garden, cut a little bit of fresh oregano, a little bit of fresh thyme, other herbs, rosemary would be good. Any of these kind of hearty herbs would be really nice in here. So that is ready so I can pull it out. If you were using dry herbs, would you add them at the same time? A hearty herb and dry herbs you could add at the same time. If you were using dry herbs though, Liv, you would only use a third as much because they're a little more potent. So come over here, see how the bacon, it's like starting to crisp, but it's still got a little bit of fat still in there. Now we're gonna add the onions. And I'm still gonna put a small pinch of salt in with my onions and garlic, like a two finger pinch, not a big four finger pinch. And all this caramelization on the bottom of the pan is really gonna add a lot of flavor for us. Garlic goes in, I'm gonna put in some chili flakes. If you don't like spice, you can omit the chili flakes. We then take our herbs, tie the string around so we can pull them out easy. A Little bit of white wine. Do you have to use white wine? Can I use red? Red would be delicious. Or you could use, no, if you don't have wine or you don't drink wine, you could omit the wine. But when I add that wine, I take my wooden spoon and I scrape the bottom of my pan to get all that great caramelization that we achieved with the bacon back up into our sauce, which is where the flavor is. Liv, why are you looking away? The heat's getting you. It is really you. smoky. <laughs> All right, so that's looking good. The wine's gonna reduce by about half. Look at my tomatoes here. This is what we want. The skins just start popping right off. So if you I'm, don't have Michael's hands. You maybe, can, I'll show you how to do it with Maybe be careful. So I'm gonna put a trivet there. 
gonna set our wine reduction here. And then I'm gonna grab my tomatoes. So if you don't have my crazy hands, you could just pull it off. The little extra heat not only adds smoke, but it also brings out some sweetness. And you pulled some of that water out of the tomato, which intensifies the tomato flavor. So this is gonna go back on. We're gonna let that continue to cook down for about a half an hour. All right, Lizzie, look at that tomato sauce. Lovely. Smoky goodness, and the pasta is cooking. It's gonna take about eight minutes. I have my tomato sauce here, which we cooked down. It's ready to go. I'm just gonna start pulling my pasta out, adding it to the sauce. Pasta's looking delightful. I'm gonna finish this pasta up. So I have a little bit of fresh basil. I just pulled the whole leaves. A little bit of flat leaf parsley. I'm just putting a real rough chop on. First thing that we're gonna do is the pasta, we pulled it out of the water, we put it into the sauce, al dente. So you cook the pasta about two minutes less than the instructions, add it to the sauce, let it continue to cook in the sauce so it absorbs some of that sauce. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of pasta water, about three, four ounces, and give that a stir. And that just helps the noodles stick to the sauce and it's all coming together in a really happy place now. Now I take it off the heat, I'm gonna put in a nub of butter, couple spritzes of olive oil, my flat leaf parsley, my basil leaves, and then I put some Parmesan in now too. Now, if you were put this over direct heat and you did it, the Parmesan would become a stringy mess. So you do this all off the heat. Love Look it. at that, those it's nice delicious. chunks nice of the fresh coated, tomatoes. Not too saucy. This, this pasta looks perfectly cooked. I'm Thank very you. impressed with yeah, it. You know, you could taste a little bit of the smoke from the grill for that.